Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another episode of On the Glass. I am your host, Brandon Abels, and you know on this channel we cover all things sports with a target audience of college basketball fans, NFL fans, NBA fans, Major League Baseball fans, whatever the case may be, but we also cover breaking news in the world of sports, and we do have a piece of breaking news that I wanted to get on here and discuss coming out of the world of NASCAR and driver Ryan Newman. Some of you guys may have seen it, some of you might not have, but the Daytona 500 was delayed a day due to rain from yesterday to today. It restarted at 4 p.m. today and finished up tonight. On the last lap, in the last quarter mile of the race, there was a very horrific crash involving driver Ryan Newman, who at the time was running at the top of the pack, and uh, he, saw, he was in one of the worst crashes that I have seen in NASCAR. He went airborne when he landed, a car driving about 200 miles per hour, plowed into Ryan Newman's door and knocked him airborne again. It was very scary watching it. And if you have been a NASCAR fan or you know anything about NASCAR, it was eerily similar, eerie reminiscent of the 2001 Dell Earnhardt Sr. crash that took his life. Um, we had no news for an hour and a half, two hours, however long it's been since the race ended. And we just got word from NASCAR, an official statement from NASCAR saying in part that Ryan Newman is being treated at Halifax Medical Center, which is just outside Daytona International Speedway. And doctors are saying that his um, injuries appear to be not non-life threatening at this point. Very, very great news. Uh, I got to be honest with you, not the news that was I was kind of expecting coming out of this, because like I said, it, uh, it reminded me eerily of Dale Earnhardt Sr.'s crash that took his life back in 2001, but very, very happy, very good news for Ryan Newman. Doctors did say that he is in critical condition, but it does appear that his injuries are non-life threatening. So that is a great piece of news. If you've seen that crash, you would know how great a, a piece of news that this is. So, guys, when you go to bed tonight, be sure to send a prayer up for Ryan Newman and a quick, full recovery for him. Say a, say a prayer for his kids because they were at the track today and witnessed all this go down. So say a prayer for his kids. Say a prayer for Ryan. And I am very happy that this news just came out. An official release from NASCAR stating that Ryan Newman is being treated at Halifax Medical Center just outside Daytona International Speedway. Doctors are saying that he is in critical condition, but non-life-threatening injuries for Ryan Newman after a horrific crash on the last lap of the Daytona 500. It was uh, very surreal to see and kind of put a very somber feeling on the end of the 500, which was a great race that saw Denny Hamlin win his third overall Daytona 500 and back-to-back -back 500s. But the big news coming out of the 500 is Ryan Newman is in critical condition, though he is still alive with non-life-threatening injuries, and uh, we can't say that enough. Prayers up to you, Ryan Newman. Congratulations, Denny Hamlin, and we'll see you next time on The Glass.